Hi there, welcome to another Lightworks 14 tutorial and today we're going to be looking at speed. So, using a couple of clips from a recent video of mine where I restore some wooden workshop drawers, I used a few techniques of messing around with speed and I'd just like to show you how I did it and you might find it useful. So we have two clips here and I've already set them up on the video timeline. We have one where I'm fixing the back of a drawer where some nails need to be used to refix the back of the drawer to the bottom of the drawer. And if we play that in real time, it's pretty boring. You know, I pick up a hammer and go tap, 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 tap. Right, so, okay, we don't need to do that in real time. And in the video that I finalized I had it running at high speed because there's no talking in it so you don't have a silly chipmunk voice and it was all about showing lots of time frame I had about an hour and a half's worth of video compressed down to 20 something minutes so for this clip here it's pretty easy we have selected the clip we have already got the playhead on there we know what we're doing so we can just right click it and choose speed and I just set it up to 400% and click do it. Now, something went wrong there. What happened? Let's have a look. I didn't want all that extra footage in there, so it's unraveled what I wanted to do. So let's click undo. Bang, we're back to normal speed. I wanted that to end right there, just with the hammering. So what went wrong? Let's right click again. Right click, speed. 400%. And it said keep current frame. I want it to resize. And then do it. Aha, now look. Now we have that clip has been nicely shrunk down and it's going to keep simply what I have selected from the timeline. If I hover there, see I've only selected that short little gap in the section of the clip timeline. So let's play that now. Done. So there's how you can speed up an entire clip and what happens if, you know, like I showed you in the first example, oh, that wasn't what I was expecting. So now you know what to look for. Next up, we have a clip where I'm fixing the handles to the drawer. And I wanted to set this up. So I come in slow, shows me doing the setup process. I want this in pretty much real time because setup is important. I made a jig, I line up the handle. Boom. Right, so up to there is about where I want all the real-time footage that I want. From then on, it's drilling holes. I could even do it to there quite happily. Let's find that. No, 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 let's go forward. I want that hand off frame. I'm just getting it to a nice, even 35 seconds. Right there. So I could either put an in mark there, select to the end of the clip and put an out mark and set the speed again, but I prefer to split it right there. So I've turned that into another track. That way it gives me that mark. I can do whatever I want with this clip. I can do whatever I want with that clip. I can split them even further. I can play around with the speeds more and more. So this clip here now, I want to set that to speed. 400. It's on resize because I want it to shrink. Let me say do it. Okay, so you get the idea. 
So I've taken a few minutes worth of video timeline, shrunk it down to a few seconds. What about this side of it? Is this side of it too slow? Maybe it is. You know, I'm taking my time in real life to show it up, but I want to give people a quick synopsis of what I was doing. They don't want to see it in real time, so maybe we can do it at 200%. 400 would be a bit quick. Let's say do that. Rewind that. So that's a lot better. So instead of having several seconds of me slowly setting up the jig and taking my time to get, you know, I wanted all the draw handles to line up perfect on this setup. But you don't need to see that in such slow time. So setting it up to 200%, it's still slowed down enough that you get to see what I was doing, that I was taking my time to set up the draw handles. But you don't have to watch the whole thing at real time. So that's also handy to have that split there in the clip timeline. Also, if I think, no, I don't want to do that, I don't have to search around for that in and out mark and set the different time speed. We've got a nice split, we can just select it, set it back to whatever we want, or delete it, or whatever. So, I just thought I'd pass on these little tips and tricks. So if you enjoyed that, click that like button. If you found it helpful and useful and want to see more tutorials, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.